Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen and today uh, we have a very exciting lead code daily challenge. It's Mark S part one. So count all valid pickup and delivery option. And this one is a combinatorial problem and I'm going to show you not one, but two ways to solve it. And we will code it live in Go. And yes, all the code will be available as well uh, in lead code and GitHub. So uh, let's dive in. So first up, uh, Let's uh, understand uh, the problem. So we will try to use uh, dynamic programming and uh, we need to count all ways a pickup delivery possibility sequence such that a delivery I is always after a pickup uh, I. So uh, looking at some example, uh, yeah, if n is one, uh, we can have only one option. So it's pickup one and uh, delivery one, but if n is two, we can have six options. So it's for example, uh, pickup one, pickup uh, two, delivery one, uh, delivery two. Also could be uh, pickup uh, one, delivery one, uh, pickup uh, two, uh, delivery two. So most importantly, uh, delivery need to be after the pickup. So as uh, in real case, and here we have a total of uh, six option here, just one. So output one if n one, otherwise uh, six. So we understand the problem. So why dynamic programming? So it's like army knife, uh, yeah, Swiss army knife uh, of problem solving. So imagine you are building a, a skyscraper and uh, each floor is a sub problem and you don't build 100 uh, floor without constructing the 99 floor below it, right? So a uh, similar thing is with dynamic programming. So we will start with a variable called count and initialize it to one. And why? Because when n is one, there is only one per uh, one pickup and one delivery. So a uh, valid sequence P1, D1. So this is our base case. So uh, let's uh, write some uh, helper function, so cons, uh, con, helper variable, so modulo. So uh, to keep uh, numbers manageable, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, question told us, return it modulo 10 to the power of nine plus seven. So now let's dive into implementation. So count will be one and four I, uh, to i less than n increment and count will be count times uh, two times i minus one times i modulo mod and return just count. So uh, yeah, simple yet efficient uh, implementation. So now uh, we are going to uh, iterate from two uh, to n and why start at two? Well, we already uh, accounted for n equal one. So for each new order i, we have i pickup and i delivery. So this means two i possibility uh, or position in total. And that's mean uh, two i. But when placing the pickup for the i uh, order, there are just two i minus one uh, choices. So that's why uh, we have two times i minus uh, one times uh, i. And finally, we return the uh, count. And yeah, so let's run to verify it's working in Go. Uh, so after uh, our uh, final loop, uh, count will contain the total number of valid sequence and uh, you can see that it's correct. Let's submit it as well to verify. Uh, it's working for unsynthesis cases. Yeah, it's working. We have yeah bit 100% with respect to runtime and also 100% with respect to memory. So it's quite efficient here. Yeah. One millisecond memory, just 1.9 megabytes. So much less than for example, uh, Python code, which took 39 milliseconds and 16 megabytes. 
Okay, so we can erase this code or uh, rearrange it. And now method two, so recursion with memoization. So the second method is recursion with memoization and uh, think of uh, memoization as a super smart uh, diary. So uh, that remember the hard problem you have solved before. So this is a uh, main core of uh, our approach. And first we will use a go map called memo uh, to store our already calculated value to not recalculate them. And this is the diary I was uh, talking about. Uh, so, and then we have a base case, same. So again, for n equal one, we have only one valid uh, sequence. So we return uh, one. So let's uh, implement it. So it will be const modulo and our memo as map int and yeah, and like this. So now let's, if n equal one, return one. So it's our base case. Okay, so uh, now the magic will happen. So we will make a recursive call uh, to our function count order n minus one. But before that, we will check if we have already calculated this value. So if yes, we will pull it from our memo if not, we will do the calculation and then store it in uh, our memo. So it will be if value exist, memo n exist, uh, return value. And now count will be count order n minus one times two times n minus one times n modulo mod and memo count and return our count. Uh, okay, so this is our uh, implementation. We can also run it to uh, see if it's working. The formula is, yeah, uh, same logic as in dynamic programming, but uh, now we are using recursion with memoization. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that was uh, insane. So uh, let's submit it also for synthesis cases. Yeah, all good. Also uh, one uh, millisecond. And now uh, with respect to memory a bit uh, more, but probably it's because of recursion uh, memory uh, call stack. So we have just uh, seen and solved uh, to robust method to solve this problem. And I hope you uh, now know and feel more comfortable with dynamic programming and recursion with uh, memoization and uh, all the code uh, available uh, in yeah, good GitHub or lead code. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask uh, in the comment section below and don't forget to smash the like button and uh, subscribe for more uh, coding adventure, tutorial, uh, tech content, machine learning, and much more. And uh, until next time, keep practicing, stay motivated, and happy coding.